That's weird. Where the hell are the bodies? No, don't turn into a zombie apocalypse now, too. I mean, that'd be kind of cool, but... The bodies are now gone. Alright, so we are back to the final hours of day number two in Notice Cave 4, where a big winter storm approaches and looks to turn us into giant ice cream bars. Cave, why are you so serious and scary? So kids won't ask me stupid questions. <laughs> we have these two in our party already. We're looking to add Barry. In order to add Barry, we have to do one last thing for him. We have to put his wife's body to rest for good. I should find something to cover the body with. Okay. Well, I think we picked up, um, blanket bed sheet. Well, I want to save this hopefully for whenever the nighttime approaches and we have that giant freezer storm, right? So let's use the bed sheet. I've covered the body with the bed sheet. Now what? Kate, could you help me move Barry's wife? Yeah, sure. Let's take her outside. Thank you. She deservedly is dead. Of course she did. Come on, Barry, let's go. Where? We've got a plan. Sort of. The first part of this plan is to survive tonight. Alright. I'll do it for her. Hey, mister? Yes? I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Barry. Do you want some food from a can? I left some for later, but I can share. That's sweet of you, but I'm not hungry right now. Eating makes me happy, and I thought it would also make you happy. Huh. Is it your son, David? No, we found him by a restaurant near here. I'll tell you all about the details later. Cody, you're a good kid. I think I'll eat that food now. Go for it. Come on, David. Lead the way. Okay, so I think um, Barry is now officially part of the squad here. Yes, and we have a couple of questions for him, too. So, that was your home, huh? Yeah, I lived here with Maggie for almost 10 years. 10 years in a place like this? Wow. Kate! Hey, it used to be a nice place, really. Before it partly collapsed, at least. Maybe it wasn't so much back then. But for us, it was everything. Our little place on Earth. It's getting cold. Indeed, it's a bit chilly. We're going to need all the warmth we can get. If you intend to keep a fire lit in a fireplace or something like that, make sure you gather some reserve fuel. And maybe some extra kindling with those freezing cold winds, you never know. It's good advice, thanks. How are you holding up, Barry? Better, given that I was willing to freeze to dead. I'd say I got much better. And that's thanks to you. We didn't do anything. Come on. I know I was a mess. I hate being helpless, yet here I was, unable to even burn my own dead wife. Admission is the first step to recovery. Actually, denial was, in my case. <laughs> Have you noticed the moon getting bigger each day? Yes. I reckon our days are numbered. They are indeed, but I'm not giving up that easily. Good for you. So, the plan is to find a spaceship and escape. A spaceship? Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but look around, the whole world is crazy. It's Kate's plan, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think about it? I'm not sure. It's a long shot, but there is no other hope. Oh, I got nothing to lose, right? What do you think about Cody? Poor boy, all alone in this world. From what I understand, he's an orphan. It's a miracle he survived this long. Without his parents, alone in this messed up world, life wasn't easy on him. I hope things will change now. You keep that boy safe, David. What do you think about Kate? Not sure. She seems to be hiding something. I said the same thing, Barry. I said the same thing about her the first moment we met her. You realize I'm literally next to you, right? <laughs> I should have probably kept my voice a little bit lower there, Barry. Our car uses so much fuel, I don't think it's normal. There might be a number of reasons for that. From fuel injectors to incorrect tire pressure. There might be something wrong with the engine. Could you take a look? Sure. Oh. Well, what is this? Barry can point out some ways to improve your car gas mileage. You'll be able to reduce full fuel consumption. It'll take 80 minutes, but um, the long-term effect would be less fuel use. Yeah, let's do it. Go for it. There. Now it should use less fuel. Awesome. All right. So, look at that. Got a car just like that. Thanks a lot, Barry. Well, I mean, we had a car, but less fuel used. So I think we're ready to go, right? We got everything here done. We picked up everything. We buried the wife. All right. So now, 
We've been everywhere now. Like, well, we still had we still have to do something with that flagpole, but I need to find something to put into the hole. Giggity giggity. Gas station. We are technically done, although we might need more fuel. Uh, the problem is, do I have the gas can on me? Because if I don't, then no, I don't. We have to go back home for that. Well, we'll go back home, pick up the gas canister, come back, and see if we can do something about that flagpole that we saw. Um, for the meantime, though, how about we go off to the roadblock? Which we haven't been to there since, uh... Oh, wait, since the start. That's weird. Where the hell are the bodies? No, don't turn into a zombie apocalypse now, too. I mean, that'd be kind of cool, but... The bodies are now gone. Oh, there's tire tracks, too. There's tracks... These tracks weren't here yesterday. The road ahead is blocked. Maybe someone was trying to go around the crash site? That's possible, I guess. Let's follow the tracks and see where they all take us. That's my life motto. Okay, so we have a new location, then. Um, I wonder if there's anything else to do here really quickly. Let's make sure that's to go back. Pest control. We've been in here. These are the cans that we didn't use for the pesticide. Alrighty. Well, I guess there's nothing else to do here. And we already took the stuff that we need from this car earlier. Alright. Let's go off to this new location. We do have a weapon equipped, do we? So if we get attacked suddenly, then we're gonna have to need some... Oh, there's more bodies here. Okay. Looks like the spider journey isn't over. Looks like their trip didn't end well. I wonder what happened. My guess is their car broke down. RVs are not the best are not best suited for off-road travel, you know. They set a camp and then the spiders got them. Indeed they did. He doesn't have anything interesting. Not much I can do for that poor guy. All right, so oh, we got a cave now too. An opening in the ground into what appears to be a cave. The boulders have formed a large rock structure here. It's covered with cracks and crevices. So we have a cave and a rock formation. I can only imagine what pops out of these caves, and I... Could be the spiders for all we know. And there's a rock formation? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a way to, like, blow this up or, I don't know, cave it in or something? Maybe. This rock formation is full of cracks. Yeah, you said that already. It's at least seven feet deep. I don't really want to jump in there. Alright. Well, I'm not sure what to do about that now, but for now, let's continue. Another dead body, he's dead, no valuable belongings. Got a hook back here. The hook is attached to an RV with big bolts. Bolts. Alright, well, we got a wrench as always. That worked! I've attached the hook, perfect. What else do we got here? Oh, a fuel inlet. Well, let's see. Do you want to inspect the RV's engine? This will take some time. This action will take five minutes, but since we have Kate and Barry, it'll only take three. Well, saved ourselves two minutes, oh boy. The engine seems fine, but the suspension is busted. The RV is not going anywhere. I don't think there's anything I can do to fix it. Well, what about Barry? Apparently he's good with cars. Also, the internal battery for appliances seems to be working, but I don't know how much juice it has left. The battery is charged when the engine is running. So have it running, the battery still works. Can we remove the battery and take it back with us? Fuel inlet. I could pour fuel through that. Okay. So maybe we do power you up? There's also an electrical socket too, which is... Interesting, to say the least. Anything with the wheels? No? And then, electrical socket, are we evolved? The sockets won't solve any of my problems without anything to plug in. Alright, let's go inside then. Hopefully there's no, um... Deadly eight-legged freaks in here. Nope. Driver's seat. Something is wrong, it won't start, but the engine is fine. Fuel, perhaps. Okay, well there is a fuel outlet out there, and I guess we could always go and get some more fuel for it later. Closet. Ah, oh, jacket. Sweet. I think that makes four jackets, so we should have now enough jackets for everybody for the night. Great. Empty one. Okay, anything else? First aid kit. Nice. There's some stuff in this first aid kit. Okay, why don't you pick him up? There was a bandage in the first aid kit. There's nothing... There's something more here. We'll pick everything up in one go, ding dong. There was a thermal blanket. Ooh! Now that sounds really good for, um, cold weather. A thermal blanket. Awesome. 
Alrighty, so I moved everything into the storage. I still haven't messed around with the house in terms of getting it prepared for tonight. We'll do that later because we still have like two places to check out. One of them which is to acquire fuel for the generator or power up the house for the nighttime. So for now we need to travel. And we also still have to do something with that rope, which I guess we'll have to figure out. I mean, I have a knife. I guess we could try cutting it down. It's a possibility. Uh, gas station. Although I'm not really sure how a cut rope would help out, unless you cut at one end. I don't know. We'll figure it out. One thing for a fact that we do need, though, is fuel. I guess since we're here, we might as well just go ahead and fuel up the vehicle one more time. Barry did fix it up for us, so now it does have better fuel consumption, I guess. So that's really, really good. But, I mean, it must be, like, halfway through now, right? So we might as well pop that up. So let me just do it really quickly here. Alrighty, so here we are again with this freaking rope. We have rope, and we have a rope clamp release mechanism. The clamp that is holding the rope is kept in place by a release mechanism. The lever is missing. Okay, well, my idea is uh, maybe we could, like, makeshift the lever out of a pipe. Like, slide it in there and then, I don't know, tug it down. That sounded more perverse than it really had to be. But you know what I'm saying? Slide it in there and tuck it <laughs> This pipe fits perfectly into the opening. Oh, I bet it does. Alright, so, um... How do I use this mechanism? Okay. What did that do? Oh, okay. I have really Oh, it released the... And we have a flag. Well, if you ever wanted, apparently, a Burger King flag, we have one now. So, there you go, a restaurant flag. A big and thick sheet of red fabric with pictures of a tasty hamburger. I miss hamburgers. Well, I mean, don't we all, but... Huh. It's, it's kind of also masquerading as a bit of a, uh, a towel to keep us warm. It's thick. So we might be able to use that, I think, for maybe the, the windows back home. I didn't, I, I didn't even think about that. I was looking for the rope and the, you know, the, the flags and added bonus. Excellent. Alright, so let's go on back. I think that's basically it. That's all we really have to do, right? Get some fuel, fuel it up. The car's fueled up. We have an extra gas canister filled up. I think that's basically it. Now it's a matter of just going back home and setting ourselves up for the night. Oh yeah, I should mention too, when I got here, when I was moving the stuff back into storage, um, Barry mentioned that he knew the people who lived here. Hold up, let's see if that's a possibility still. Do I have to be inside the house? Okay, here it is. The people who lived in our hideout. You said you knew the people who lived in our hideout. We weren't really close, but we spoke on occasion. What happened to them? I always wondered. The house was the house was locked. I didn't find any bodies, so I guess the set of keys I found must have been spares. They left. The military was still trying to evacuate civilians from endangered areas until they realized there were no safe areas left. Didn't you want to go with them? We refused. Maggie wanted to stay. Now I wonder, what if? Then again, I have no idea what happened to the ones who left. I hope they're alright. But I doubt they are. Hey, damned if you do, damned if you don't, huh? Okay, so... Um, I think that should be everything I wanted to show off here in terms of, like, the conversation. So, now it's a matter of just setting up the house for the night. So, let's start off really quickly here by... What imagine by turning off, or at least turning off the door. Yeah, it was on, so I turned it off. By closing the door. Don't got the key on me, so we gotta get that up and running. So fridge, we ignore that. There's uh, apparently an electrical socket over there. Which is fine, because if we come into our cargo, or at least a storage box, we have an extension cord. So let's take this here really quickly. Um, we also have a... Br oh, it's broken, though. Well, it mentioned there was like a screw inside. We have a screwdriver, so we'll probably look into that really quickly here. As a matter of fact, I do it now. Yes. As you thought, the inside of the heater was loose. Has some loose wires and screws getting this thing... To work won't be easy. It'll take us 90 minutes, but because of the people, it'll only be 60 minutes. We still have seven hours, so yeah, do that. And apparently it should be working now. Perfect. So, um, coats as well for the people, obviously. So, boom, boom, boom. Sorry if you guys don't like these drabby colors, but it'll keep us warm. We're also gonna need blankets, I imagine. So take all the blankets we can get. Um, this will be my coat, I guess, so we'll keep that on for later. A gas heater. Um, this was made by the empty heater I found in a propane tank. I combined them in. There it is. Although we probably can carry it, it's too heavy. So we'll leave that for last. Electrical heater. Can, can we combine? There it is. Are you already on? You must be, right? No, 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 no. no it was already on. Okay. Leave it alone. 
Just making sure there's an on or off switch, you know? Close this up. Now. I thought Barry was dancing there for a second. No, he's just shaking his leg. Okay, that's what that was. What's up now? Yes, I know, I did that. So now, um, a trap would have killed Spider. A destroyed barricade. I could remove the nails, but I need a tool for that. So let's take the nails off. This will take nine minutes with the people we got. Perfect. Besides the nail, the barricade was not salvageable. Excellent. So now, a green blanket. It's just hanging there. I still should do something to attach it to the wall. Well, we don't need nails for this, so let's conserve those. We'll use duct tape, though, because we're trying to insulate, right? Um, because of the window frame, blah, blah, blah. This actually would take 35, but because of the people, 23. So we're saving ourselves two minutes. Not too bad. All right, so that one is now sealed. Not sure if we should do something about those corpses of spiders there or not. Um, okay, so that's that's good. Let's go up. And uh, thermal blanket. A low-weight, low, low blanket made of heat-reflective, thin, silvery sheeting. A big and thick... Well, this one's big and thick. Don't you dare turn it perverse. Um, there's something in here that apparently is not gonna let us turn the chimney on. According to what he told us downstairs. So, a chimney... It seems the chimney is clogged with something inside it can't reach it. Well, we have a rope. And... Stop it. I guess we combine you two. Fish? A little bit of a chimney fishing? What the hell is that? Oh, no! A dead bird? Why? Why the personal attack on my kind? Um, thermal blanket. There is no point in covering this hatch. I would just close it. But there is an entire wall missing on the other room. Oh, from the helicopter, right. Oh, so I see what you're saying. So we should put it here? Because if... This one could just apparently close. Well, actually, you don't have to worry about closing that because there's a big-ass hole over here, so... I guess that should be the point where we put the blanket. Alright, well, let's imagine that's done now. And we can't even seal that up because obviously when the helicopter crashed, we also lost a little hatch to that too. So I think that's the best we could probably do. I covered the hatch with something to block the temperature. I think we're done upstairs. So, what remains? What do you guys think we have to do here? Uh, turn the fire on, Falcon. Yes, that's correct. And, uh... I'm not sure if we have to, but let me just lock the doors because you never know. Oh, the gas here, right. Let me bring this, too. Now, I'm not sure if, um, how the gas heater works. If we just put it down and it's automatically on like the traps were. So that's locked. We are going to hang out here, as I've mentioned. So, gas heater. Oh, alright, cool. You just put it on the floor and... Automatically on. This is going to be, like, we, we're probably, like, sweating like crazy right now. But, um... I'm sure that won't be the case in a couple of hours, so take in the toastiness right now, because soon you'll be freezing. Let's see. Flamethrower on a fireplace. Good God. There is no kindling in the fireplace. There's no way I can start a fire with something... without something small. Oh, okay. Um... The stack of documents I got later. I also have a note. Don't necessarily even get rid of the caches yet, because you never know. It's fun to light a fire with a flamethrower, you're telling me? Alrighty, man, this looks like the hottest place in the entire world right now. So you think you're ready? I think so. I will wear a warm jacket. It was cold already during the day, but when the sun disappeared during the uh, behind the horizon, the temperature dropped even lower. It got so cold that everything in the area that was alive and hadn't found a shelter was frozen almost instantly. You found shelter in a house, hoping it would save you from the wave of cold death. The front door was closed. This weakened the wave of cold by 2%, of the initial freezing power. Well, it's not really much. The back door was closed. This weakened the wave of cold by 2%. So we're down to 96. All right. The window on the ground floor was covered with a thick blanket. The blanket was taped to the wall with duct tape. As a result, 6% was blocked. And I imagine that'll also be another 6%. Yes. Oh, what about the flag? Did it really work as a blanket? 6%. Yeah, it did. So we're down to 78 now. It still seems like a lot. You put a thermal blanket in the opening in the ceiling. With a large hole in the attic, the hatch was an important airflow route. It stopped 6%. I'm not sure that it could have done more, but... We got 6. Down to 72. The fireplace was burning in the fireplace. It was generating a lot of heat, countering 
During the night, a sudden strong gust of wind almost put the fire out. You had no spare kindling in the basket? No, I, but I did. No kind of sand, it's your wrong. Did I not have the, the broken planks in the basket? No spare kindling? What's up wrong with his medulla oblongata? <laughs> I'm confused, but let's just go on. You turned on an oven in the kitchen, hoping it would heat the air around it. Too bad you were staying in the other room, making it less effective. Oh, come on. But it was warmer over there. We have the fireplace. As a result, the oven raised the temperature a bit, dispersing about 7%. That's good. Or sweat 41, though. You plugged in an electric room heater in the main room. The hot air and blue raised the temperature around it, deducing 22. This got to be in, right? I mean, if the electrical heater does 22, this got to be more than 19. A portable gas heater was placed in one of the rooms. 24, baby, we did it. It didn't even take into account our coats, maybe. It wasn't as bad as you thought it would be. Conditions outside were harsh, but in your hideout, everything was absolutely fine. It got a bit chilly, but you didn't even need to put the coat on. Wow. You were able to rest much more comfortably than you thought you would. We got a plus five kilogram permanent carry weight bonus. Nice! Oh no, not this again. Well, I guess this is the next thing we have to face now, huh? Could we take the door for once? Of course not. Alright, what's the next danger? Rain? Oh! Why is that rain looking so hot? <laughs> well, apparently, um, Thor's pissed off at me. So, you had another bad dream? Yeah, not a very pleasant one. There was a storm. A thunderstorm. The rain was burning like it was... At oh, I... Acidic rain, for real? And lightning was striking all around. I see. We'll have to prepare for it, then. What is it, Cody? You seem excited. I have something important to tell you. It's like, super duper important? We have to prepare for tonight. Even more than yesterday. Yes, Cody, I know. But you don't know why yet. I don't. I thought. Shush! I had a dream. There were like, dozens of zombies coming towards the house. They wanted my brain. We have to protect it. I don't want to be eaten. They had those ugly faces and they were slowly walking with their arms in front of them. They were speaking to me all like, Brains. Cody, the zombies are not real. You had a bad dream, that's all. What? No, why? Your dreams are better than mine? I'm not saying they are better. So you believe me that there are zombies coming after me? No one is chasing you, Cody. I hope zombies will think you are tasty. Wow. So is he messing around or did he really have a dream about zombies? I'm not really sure right now. David, there's something I have to tell you. I also ha Okay, well, what is this? Like, everybody having dreams now? What is this? Like, the stand? You saw what I saw? No, I saw a city. I know where to find a spaceship, David. Or at least, I know how to look for it. What? Where? Sidereo. The corporation that built those ships had a number of outposts and offices across the... Well, everywhere, actually. It was just an office, but if we get there, we might find the location of the spaceship outpost. So you don't know for certain. David, I have have I doubted your dreams for one second? I need you to trust me on this one. We gotta get there as soon as possible. Before we spend any time preparing for what's coming tonight. And that's it, we're in day number three. Okay, so I feel like Cody just is messing around. And I feel like Kate might be just using the fact that we have dreams to use it against us. Because she's seems I don't know, she's very sketchy, man. Something about her I don't trust. And I think she knows exactly where the spaceship is at, and she's using a dream as a bit of a, Oh, I saw a dream too, David. I don't know. By the way, guys, by the time, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Day two is in the bags. We survived. We can now carry a bit more as well. Perfect. Two days down, apparently two more to go. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I'll catch you for the next one.